Hello guys, it's Bina123 and I'm back with another r slash entitled parents. Thank you so much for liking the video guys, it got my first video to 100 likes and I'm so excited. I'm trying to hit 500 subs by the end of the month, so if I reach 500 subscribers today, I will do another r slash entitled parents today, so I double upload. Let's get straight into the video. This one was titled, she's entitled and dumb too. Got herself fined $500. So a little bit of a background. I have lived in my house for quite a while and we live in a pretty rich neighbourhood with a lot of wealthy families. It's actually all just rich people, some of which are very, very well off. My family is fairly well off as well, but my parents both work very hard. This kind of ties to the story. EM equals entitled mother. EC equals entitled child. This is a very long TLDR at bottom. So, my house is right next to a storm pond. It's pretty large and it freezes over in the winter. I grew up playing hockey and I was very good. The best around at that time though everyone caught up in due time. One year, my dad decided to see if the ice was thick enough to skate on, and sure enough, it was. That year, my dad ended up shoveling an entire hockey rink size portion of the pond so that me and my friends that lived in my neighbourhood could play some hockey. One day, we looked out to see some older kids playing hockey and we realised our pond had became a neighbourhood thing, where kids and even adults would come out to play. My dad loved the fact that we could help put the neighbourhood and see that his rink was allowing people from our neighbourhood to come together and hang out and get to know each other. My dad ended up pulling some money to get a huge light that illuminated the entire rink so you could play even at night. I loved to go and play some hockey and I soon realised that one other kid was out there all the time. He was around my age and very good, as was I at the time. We played together every chance we got. He was very nice and polite and I soon learned he was staying with his aunt, EM, and his cousin, EC. One day, my dad put out a sign that the rink was reserved for the day because we were hosting a party for my team and we wanted to have the rink as we already had around 20 kids playing and more than that would just get crowded along with the fact that a lot of the regulars were older hence better QEM EM pulls up onto the road the ice rink is clearly in full view from the road and she sees 20 plus kids all in the same uniform playing hockey. She proceeds to walk up and read the sign my dad left. This still doesn't stop her. EM drags her kid to the rink and begins to tie his skates when my dad walks over to explain the rink was reserved. This incident was a long time ago so I don't remember the conversation as well but I'll stick to the main points. Dad. Hi M, my son's team is having their team party here today, so we reserve the rink for his team exclusively. EM Apparently cuts out half of what my dad said and proceeds to blur out something similar to... Oh, perfect. EC Can you just play with them for the afternoon? By now, she had finished tying her son's skate and begins to walk away. Apparently, she was just gonna use us as a daycare, as she just lived down the street. Dad. No. EM, you need to take EC with you. There's already too many kids and we aren't babysitting your child. EM. Just look after him for a few hours. I want to go home. Dad. Take him with you, he won't be playing with us. This seems harsh, but EM already had a reputation 
of dumping EC on other families at the rink and EC was known for being overly rough when playing and just plain rude. He also wasn't the best and regularly got mad when someone was better than him. EM continues to walk away and get in her car. Dad. What a beep. We allowed EC to play with our team until one of the better players on my team DKs around him like it's nothing and scores. EC follows him down the ice only to swing his stick into the side of my teammate's leg. Dad. EC, what the beep are you doing? My teammate is crying, obviously. EC says nothing and begins to cry. My dad makes him sit out to the side until his mom comes back to get him while still keeping in watch and making sure he's okay. EM returns shortly therefore after, only to see her son crying off to the side. This obviously didn't side with her. EM What the hell are you doing? Dad Already knows what she's going to say so he blunts out We told you your son's not welcome yet you still dumped him on us anyways and after we allowed him to play he injured one of my players who had to leave to go get fiberglass from your son's stick out of his leg EM has no response and packs up her crying child and leaves without another word. The story doesn't even end here, it gets even worse. The rink only got more and more popular and people from other neighbourhoods would come to play on it and one year my dad made 22 meter high wooden boards to surround the rink. We went all out. Until finally, one winter, it never got cold enough for the rink to freeze and the same happened for the next couple of years, until this winter. The rink finally froze over the week. I am posting this and me and my friends just shoveled out a small playing area as it was just us two. We played on the rink for a few days until today when EM drove past. I forgot to mention, my house is in the only road into our neighbourhood, so to get in you have to pass. Me and my friend saw as EM pulled up to the curb and began to stalk towards us. EM Will you be continuing the hockey rink this year? Me I guess I'm just doing this pretty much. Pointing out to the small shoveled portion. EM Why only this? Me my dad currently isn't home and I don't have the time or know how to continue what my dad has done previously and I also had exams coming soon. EM Well you should, we deserve it. What now? Me Excuse me? EM You did it previously and you owe us it now since we haven't been able to use it for the past few years. Me we did that as a project to pass the time, we don't have the kick spare time now and I'm not going to do all that work because the temperature is supposed to rise to 5 degrees the next day. Yes, I'm in Canada. EM Still, EC could use the rink tonight, make sure you have a bit done, I'll bring him over soon. Me I'm not doing beep. EM, excuse me, you better, EC deserves to use the rink and this ain't good enough for him. Me, getting annoyed and also cold at this point, I don't care about EC, he can do it himself if he wants. EM, do it by the time I get back or else I'll call someone. Me, go ahead. A few years ago. The city put up signs saying that the pond was a hazard, fearing that someone could fall through and they couldn't get sued. They put a number to call if someone was skating on the rink. EM left but returns about 30 minutes later with a brat of a son who had earned the reputation of being an all around jerk and still not a good player. 
my friend was a triple A player and for all you non-hockey fans, that's basically the best you can get for the minor leagues. EM, what the beep? You haven't moved. I'll just start to ignore her at this point. EM, fine. See if I care. She goes back to sit in her car and begins talking to someone on the phone while glaring at me and my friend. I didn't know at the point time, but she was on the phone with the city telling them people were skating on the pond. She then tells us that we were in trouble because we called the city. Me and my friend didn't care as we had been out there for a while as it was and we were cold so... Me and my friend didn't care as we had been out there for a while as it was and we were cold so we left and went back inside, EM sat and watched EC for a while until a white car with the city logo on it pulls up. EM turns around as the man gets out and tells him. EM, I called, it's okay now, the kids are gone. Man. Ma'am, who's skating right now then? EM, oh, that's just EC, my son. Man. Lady, I'm going to have to give you a fine for misusing city property. EM, what? We didn't do anything. The other brats are gone now. Man, ma'am, you just told me that your son out there right now. I heard this all from the comfort of my living room and could surprisingly hear it all as she was very loud. He hands her a fine. I don't know for how much, but the sign says minimum $500. She basically played herself. This one's titled, EC Smacks My Service Dog. I have a service dog for PTSD. He's a two year old German Shepherd called Zach. He's been professionally trained and is never out without his vest on. One day I was out for a walk with him and we passed this EM and her child. The child, around 6 years old, got ecstatic when she saw Zach and was bouncing around saying that she wanted to pet him. I kindly said that he was working and petting him could distract him and set off to walk again. But the EM quickly said that her daughter wanted to pet the dog so she would. I tightened my grip on Zach's leash just so I wouldn't drop it just in case of an episode, but either way, he could tell I was getting anxious. The EM went up to me and grabbed his leash, yanking him backwards and calling her daughter up to pet him. Before I could fully react, her daughter came up and pulled on his tail before smacking him on the back and yelling, Doggy, doggy. He yelped, snapped around to face her and fell down to the floor which made me think that he was in pain. Before I could say that, she had hurt my dog. The mother shouted at me for having an aggressive dog and that he bit her daughter. She wouldn't let go of the leash and I'm not the strongest person, so I couldn't get him back. Luckily, the kid started crying and she took her hand off his leash. Despite thinking he was in pain, I set off running and was glad to find an area where I could calm down and check his hips. Luckily for the mother, he was fine, but just a little shocked. I was sadly in a worse state and seeing as this was my first confrontation, the scariest one for any service dog handler, we had to perform DPT, deep pressure therapy. I was still a little nervous after getting home too. Edit. For everyone asking if we're okay, we are perfect. Zach's job is to calm me down after a panic attack. Triggered by my shouting slash aggressive movements towards me. And that's just what he did. I knew what I was getting into when I got a SD. I.e. fake ones. Not being allowed into places, people petting him etc. And we're getting by just fine. I will probably also report her, but I sadly can't remember much. Anyways guys, that's going to be pretty much the end of the video. 
I'm gonna leave it with this adorable picture of a bratty entitled kid with the overprotective parent. Remember guys, like, comment, subscribe if you want more and to be up to date with these daily reddit memes and if I get 500 subscribers today I'm gonna do a double upload so another r slash entitled parents because I know I needed two but they're pretty long. Peace out guys.